Hi guys, I'm very excited for this video because you guys requested it. I asked what videos you want to see from me because I took a, almost a month off, not on purpose, it just kind of happened that way. But um, I asked you guys what you want to see and a lot of you had questions about the wedding, which <laughs> is very sweet. So I had stuff about wedding dress shopping, DIY, budget wedding stuff, how he proposed, the process of the wedding planning, and all that good stuff. So essentially my wedding is planned, it's done. Um, my wedding is September 30th and we got engaged in April, so it was pretty quick. I had no intention of long engagement. Uh, we've been together for about four years. I want to have a baby. Like, I am not trying to slow down in any which way. I also didn't want a very fancy big wedding. We kind of wanted as few people as possible, which sounds bad for budget reasons, as well as we just want it to be close family and friends. We're not really big, like, attention people. We don't have huge groups of friends. So both of us really only have like five friends that we invited and then the rest is family. And we both come from quite big extended families. So it was hard to narrow down the list, but we have we invited 84 people and right now our list for the venue is 80 people, which is more than we actually anticipated, but um, still a lot smaller. We're going to a wedding the week before our wedding and there's 250 people, so um, I don't even know that many people. So I guess we'll start from the beginning, kind of move through. So how he proposed, not very fancy or, you know, romantic, but that's our vibe. We're not really romantic, fancy people. So we knew we were going to get engaged. We knew... Um, what the plan was and so we actually my ring the middle diamond is his mom's from her ring she gave us the ring we had a um jewelry design maker um take the diamond out we gave her the rest of her ring and then i designed this i found a ring i loved years ago years ago and it was just like three pictures of it online it was vintage um i showed them to the designer and he made the ring uh, based on that so the center is a diamond from his mom and the other two are fake i was like whatever's cheaper i don't care no one can tell the difference anyway um it is yellow gold but more of a vintage yellow gold so i think it's 14 karat um I love it. It's great. Perfect. Um, so we actually were working with the guy and got it designed. When it was done, we picked it up and then um, I was like, so when are we when are we doing this? And pretty much the next day while I was working on the couch in my pajamas and he was working, he proposed while we were sitting on the couch. Um, so again, not very romantic, but I said yes and we're engaged. Um, that's I never wanted any big proposal. I'm like, not against it, but I hate it. If I'm not a public person. I, I prefer something more private. So totally, totally awesome. Um, we actually didn't tell anyone until in person. I told a few friends, I think both of us, and then we told our parents in person. So yeah, and then pretty much the week after we got engaged, I planned everything. Finding the venue was the hardest. There was a few places we considered, but we ended up actually picking a restaurant. A restaurant I've been to a few times. It's very local within a 10 minute drive. They have one of the biggest patios, um, like outdoor spaces in a, for a restaurant in the state. So I really wanted it outside. I wanted casual, like not jeans casual, but our, you know, uh, what's the word? The vibe is a casual cocktail, like dress up, but don't feel pressure. You know, there's no need to wear a tie or suit fully, you know. Um, so we're being super cash with it. Um, I, for dress shopping, I did not ever go dress shopping. I did not try on dresses. Um, I did not do any of that. I've had my wedding dress for about two and a half, if not three years. I had it since before we got engaged. We were together for about, I think, a year and a half. I saw it on Poshmark and I was like, you know what, it's $50. I'm just gonna get it. If I don't like it, I'll resell it, like whatever. Um, but when you're gonna see a dress that you love for $50, it is from Lulu's, they actually still sell it. I got it used on Poshmark for $50 and it fit like a glove. It's adjustable, so <laughs> that sounds so bad. It ties, the back is low and it ties, so you can kind of adjust it, it only zips up to the lower back. Super easy, it fits great. I was gonna have to get it hemmed, but it is quite lacy, so that would be a good process. So I actually got shoes that are high enough so I didn't have to get it hemmed. I have fancy kind of lacy heels that I'm gonna wear um, for pictures in the ceremony and then um, I actually got white croc sandals <laughs> to wear underneath it. You can't see them anyway so it's not a big deal. From there so we picked a venue restaurant so we didn't actually have to pay for the venue. We're just paying for the food and drinks. We picked our food, drinks, we're doing a buffet style, very casual. We wanted food that is not fancy in any which way. We wanted something that everyone would like, simple, easy. 
we have a pasta dish and we have a meat dish. We're doing an hour of appetizers as we do photos and stuff. I found our photographer through Instagram. I found some people I really liked and they were all booked because it was quite soon and I finally found someone and so she's great. I really love her. I'll leave her page um, linked below and I will be tagging her once we post the wedding photos. For engagement photos, we actually did those ourselves. Um, we have a park at the end of our street. We walked down there with a tripod and my iPhone and a remote and took them ourselves. So that was great and cheap and they actually came out quite good. And that was how we did our invitations as well. We, neither of us are having a wedding party. He has two brothers. I have my sister and some friends. So we're not doing any like matching suits, matching dresses, anything like that. We just didn't want to be a bother honestly to anyone. We wanted to make it as easy as possible for everyone, like stress free. That's been my goal since day one. Like no stress for anyone. I don't want anyone to feel stressed. That's also why we did it local. We both only had like three or four family members out of state. So only a few people need to find like a hotel. And we just wanted it to be so easy. Like for us, for everyone, we're not getting a hotel. We're gonna stay together the night before. We were going to go to the courthouse and actually have the wedding, the ceremony there and invite our families to that, just like immediate family. But they don't do that on the weekends or even Friday. So it just wasn't gonna work out. So what we ended up doing was asking my aunt to officiate. So she got ordained online. I actually did it first to make sure it was super easy. It's super easy. I actually printed out a, um, like the ceremony for her, very simple, basic, no no vows, we're not writing our own vows, none of that. It's the simplest, yes I do, I do, that's it. <laughs> like, as easy as possible. I want the ceremony to be short and sweet. She's gonna say a few words um, in the beginning because she is someone who's very important to me. And so she's gonna do that. That way we also didn't have to find someone, finding an officiant that wasn't religious. Um, we both are Catholic, but it's just not not the vibe for us. This was the easiest method because finding an officiant or non-religious or just any kind of officiant really, just as the piece, whatever, um, it's quite expensive and a lot of them want to like talk to you for a few hours and meet and like do this whole thing. Like we don't want a long thing. We want it simple. We don't need our whole backstory. Like there's no point of that. We're actually going to do the ceremony, it sounds so bad, in the parking lot of the venue before um, the reception. So our event is starting at 3 and then 2.30 everyone, we have like 15 people coming to the ceremony and we're going to do it. The parking lot has this cute little area with some really nice trees and stuff um, and we're going to do the ceremony there. It's going to take 10 minutes, very simple. My fiance's brother's girlfriend is going to photograph on film for the ceremony, which I'm very, very excited about. If I could do the whole wedding on film, I would. So I'm very excited about that and then um, the rest of the you know people for the reception will show up and we're gonna do that cake wise we i was gonna just go to like the acme like the grocery store and do it a bakery that my fiance and i went to when he used to live closer to the beach um we would go every single weekend whenever i visited him it was very affordable it was like our routine and we actually ended up getting the cake from there so went there it was affordable they're gonna deliver it to the location and it just really worked out well so super easy great wonderful and that's all taken care of we're gonna have a very simple cake nothing fancy it's gonna be a naked cake two layers and one's flavor for him one's a flavor for me nothing fancy like i said one's like vanilla chocolate one's lemon like nothing crazy for the venue music wise we literally made a spotify playlist that we're gonna play no musicians no band dj or anything like that for our open bar we're doing just beer and wine we're not gonna do hard alcohol that's where the prices go up and that's where people get out of hand i don't drink personally so that was not a priority of mine. We're also not doing kids. Um, it's just easier that way everyone can relax. I made some phone calls, some emails, figured out pricing. Like overall, cake, venue, food, drinks, um, everything is coming in around $6,000. Like I know that sounds cheap, but we're cheap. We did get some Polaroid cameras or um, disposable cameras to put on the tables. That's kind of it. I know that does not sound fancy. I know that's probably not what a lot of people want. A lot of people love the whole planning process or really get into it. Me, I wanted it to be done. I wanted to spend the week, focus on it and be done with it. Um, I think we have like one more thing to order and then we're kind of done though. Like everything's settled. It's just, that's, it was, it was not that bad because we are keeping it small and because we didn't want to be fancy. I guess as a young child dreamed of like a big fancy wedding, but like, it's just really not my vibe. As an adult, I just don't want, I don't see the point of spending 
on a big day, like when it's the rest of your life that matters, to be honest. We want our wedding to be the kind of wedding we'd want to go to. DIY and budget stuff. Um, DIY stuff was mostly just like making signs on Canva and then ordering prints through Staples. I bought some frames like on Amazon or like at AC Moore figured it out like I, we didn't do very much my bouquet is fake um it was on etsy i picked one out my mom ordered it but yeah i mean i'm excited um honestly i'm more excited for it to be over and i know that sounds bad but like i want the day to come i want it to happen i want it to be done so it can be a happy memory um mostly excited about the pictures to be honest because i'm doing my own hair and makeup i didn't have to worry about any of that kind of that if you have more questions i'd be happy to answer them especially afterwards um how things went what i regret what i don't regret all that good stuff um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this i hope this answered some of your questions and um i'll talk to you guys soon bye